Hello everybody on YouTube and all the NFL YouTube prognosticators and NFL fans everywhere. This is Andrew Warren, back here once again, giving you my thoughts about week 5 and week 6 of the 2020 NFL season. Check it out. First off, before I make my picks, I want to send my condolences out to Joe Morgan, who recently passed away from, from cancer recently. One of the greatest second basemen in, ba in baseball of all time. You know, part of the big red machine of the Cincinnati Reds and all that. So, send my condolences out to him. What a great Hall of Famer. One of the greatest second basemen of all time. No doubt about that. So, my thoughts and prayers out to him and his family right now in this difficult time. Yeah, because he recently he's been battling cancer for a lot of years, which I believe it was leukemia. And it didn't work out. I mean, just passed away from it. Really a tough year for um, a lot of that. It's a really tough year for that, so... Send my condolences out to him and his family. And rest in peace, Joe Morgan, the greatest second baseman that ever lived. Okay, about my uh, my picks last week, I went nine and five overall. Which uh, no, I'm sorry, nine and fifteen overall because of the Patriots. You know, and they had their bye week. Then I had eight and seven overall, and seven and six. So and one for the over and under for the ATS was eight and seven and seven and six and one overall. So that's a little rough on that, so, you know, yeah, little tough week, you know, we had a couple of um, games canceled because of the, co the COVID-19 with the coronavirus going on and things like that. And now recently, Atlanta shut down their practice facility after five members got tested positive for the coronavirus, so, ouch, yikes. So that's a lot to go through. And I, I, I gotta say, for Thursday night, though, I think um, Nick Foles has Joe Brady's number, like Eli Manning did, because... Because this is uh, Nick Foles unbeaten of Tampa Bay and the Bucks and Brady. And Carolina beaten Atlanta, which is no surprise there. Tennessee and Buffalo. I mean, who would have thunk that Tennessee would have thought would get 42-16 to 16 over um, uh, uh, Buffalo on Tuesday night. And Jacksonville and Houston. Uh, uh, Houston pulling off on that one. Baltimore didn't what they did in, against Cincinnati. And the Vegas Raiders pulling off the upset. Maybe they're Super Bowl because they beat the Chiefs. And... Arizona beating the Jets and the Rams and Washington and, you know, Cleveland and, you know, Cleveland and Indianapolis, you know, that Cleveland beating them and the Rams and Washington. And, you know, we didn't get to the Patriots and Denver game because that's going to be postponed this week. So, other than that, Pittsburgh and Philadelphia, we all knew about that one. Dallas and New York. I got to send my thoughts and prayers out to Dak Prescott. That was a very, very brutal injury. Kind of look like Alex Smith if you think about it. But that was really, really tough. Tough injury. No, Dak Prescott down for the year. So maybe Dallas should go for the top 10 spot. Maybe give him some some, some help. To get him, maybe come back next year. So we'll have to wait and see on that. So San Francisco and Minnesota. Hmm, you know how I feel on that. You know, a little rough in the area on that. So, you know. And see, not Seattle and um, the Seattle game. Oh, I'm sorry, Seattle and Miami, San Francisco and Miami, my fault. So, in Seattle and Minnesota, so that was a th Sunday nighter. So, that was a close one, and New Orleans um, barely squeaking out alive against uh, the Chargers. Well, that was a really good one. That was a good Monday nighter to watch. I mean, I was tuned in for that. I watched a little bit of that game. So, that was a fun one. So, you know what? You know, it is what it is. And because of that, like I mentioned, my scores for last week. Hold on, excuse me. I went... Nine and five overall. I mean, nine and six overall. Eight and seven overall, and seven and six and one. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like not seven and seven and one. Excuse me. And overall, because of that, I'm forty-five and thirty-two overall, and straight up against the spread, forty-three and thirty-five overall, thirty-seven, thirty-three and eight over and under. So it's a little tough on the edge on that one. We'll try to get better this week, shall we? First off, let me apologize again for being late. And all that because it was a, it's been a really really busy week for me with homework and stuff like that and I didn't have basically had time to do my picks and all that but I'm here now so you might get this might get uploaded later tonight or maybe uploaded tomorrow morning so depending on what happened on Thursday night I'm gonna get that in so whatever you see it could be a Friday morning or maybe Saturday I mean um whatever so all I know is it's gonna be, it's a really busy week so I didn't have time so anyways here's my um, Thursday night pick anyway just to kick things off. Tennessee and Houston, a very short, very, very short week for Tennessee, but I don't think that's going to affect them whatsoever. 
So I think, and Houston should be celebrating too, their first win without Bill O'Brien. So that's a really good one. And Romeo Cornell became the oldest coach in the league and former hoodie. So that's another start on that one. But I think Tennessee has a big motor going in, ten, in, um, in their home feed. They got David Henry has a stiff arm and he's still putting up some good numbers. Ryan Tannehill is putting up some good numbers. And I think this is going to be Tennessee's game. I know Houston is doing pretty well without Bill O'Brien. So I think they're going to do well, but I don't, I don't know. I think it's, I know it's a short week, but I think they're going to pull something off. It's going to be close, but I think it's going to be pulling something off. So I'm going to take Tennessee over Houston and Tennessee on the line. Tennessee's favorite by um, five and a half in this game, taking Tennessee five and a half. Over and under, is, it's a toss up, it's a pick 'em. So take the over on that one, I believe. I think that's going to be over 40, I mean, on 50, 45. I'm sorry about that. So Indianapolis Colts and the Cincinnati Bengals. And this is a good one to go. The toss up, you know, I think defensively Indianapolis good, you know, you know, it is what it is with that, you know, and everything else. So Joe Burrow, I think he's going to have a tough time with that defense. So I think Indianapolis is going to take that. So I'm going to take Indianapolis over on um, the Cincinnati Bengals. On the line, though, Cincinnati, I mean, um, Indianapolis favored by um, eight in this game. That's too many points for a defensive game. So I'm going to take um, Cincinnati plus eight over and under is 46. I'm going under 46. I think it's going to be a close game. Minnesota Atlanta. Now this game is questionable right now, but I'm still gonna make it anyway because Atlanta's um COVID situation after five guys got tested positive for that. So anyways, no matter what happens, I think Minnesota may win this. So if they play, I think it's gonna happen with that. But they check but Tennessee checks on the facility. So we'll see on that one. Yeah, sorry about that. Anyways, I think um I think Minnesota's gonna win this game if they play, so I'm thinking they're gonna do that. So I don't I think that's on hold right now, so Minnesota over I think Minnesota's gonna win that game over in Minnesota against Atlanta. On the line though, Minnesota is favored by um three and a half in this game, taking Minnesota minus three and a half. Over and under is fifty five. I'm gonna go under fifty five. My Patriots and the Denver Broncos. Finally this game's post that after they got canceled because of the COVID. So and that's gonna be holed up. So and my Patriots are gonna win I think they're gonna win this game despite the fact that Cam Newton's back and Stephon Gilmore is going to be back too, which I, they're going to be fired up for that because they really wanted to admit they were missing out, especially the, uh, Cam Newton um, who got who got out of the COVID, so that was pretty rough on that. So they have Brian Hoyer and Jadis Denim in there, so that's going to be like, yeah, let's get something better in that. So I think as of now, I heard Cam Newton may, is going to play. We don't know yet, so it, I think that's even though they, even though the fact that remains is if Cam Newton doesn't really play, though, I think Stenham going to start. So, anyways, I'm thinking. Well, how Hoodie's going to put it up. My Patriots are going to win this game. I think my Patriots will win over the Denver Broncos at home. On the line, though, the Patriots are favored by 9 this game. I'm taking Denver plus 9. I think that's going to be a defensive game. Over and under is 45. I'm going over 45. Washington and the New York Giants. All right, I'm, ho I'm I just recently, Alex Smith is going to be starting. What a moment it's going to be for him. I think it's going to be a special moment. I think this is going to be a, a big win for that. Usually, it, uh, guys like that, you know, with, with injuries, like Alex Smith, who comes in a big, big situation, and uh, and if if you want to know my opinion, I think Adrian Peterson can uh, 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 testify with this, and you go and he would say, yeah, it's a possibility. So, anyways, what I'm saying is, I think Alex Smith is gonna have a game for the ages. It's a great game back. So for that big injury, he was done out for a year and a half, I believe. I think it was a year and a half or two years, something like that, for that big leg injury. So I think guys like that, I'm thinking. I think I'm going to pull it out because I think he's going to do something. He have a big injury. So I'm going to take Washington over the New York Giants in Washington. On the line, though, Washington. New York Giants are favored by three in this game. I'm taking Washington plus three. And that's my upset pick of the week. I think they're going to pull something out. Over and under 43. I'm going to go under 43. Baltimore and the Philadelphia Eagles. I think Baltimore's going to have the edge in this game to fight the Lamar Jackson's playing well. And they're defensively they're one of the best in the game. For them, so I think in Baltimore is going to win this game off Philadelphia, and Carson Wentz is going to have nine one one dollar in his head in this one. So I, I think I like Baltimore over on um, Philadelphia for that alone. All the line though, Baltimore's favorite by seven in this game. I'm taking Baltimore minus seven. Over and under is forty six. I'm going under forty six and a half. Pittsburgh and Cleveland. I think this game is going to be like another divisional rival game, but I think simply Pittsburgh going to beat up the Browns like they normally do. So I'm, I'm going to leave it at that because of defensively. So I'm going to take. Pittsburgh over Cleveland in Pittsburgh on the line though. Pittsburgh's favorite by three in this game. I'm taking Pittsburgh minus three and a half. Over and under is 51. I'm th taking under 51. Carolina and Chicago. That was a good win for Chicago. But you know what? 
it's over now. So they're moving on. Now, now they're facing Carolina. So I think Teddy Bridgewater is going to put up some numbers on that one. So every time Carson Wentz has a big win, he, he blows up the following game. I kind of noticed that from him. So I think in Carolina over Chicago in this game. On the line, though, Carolina's favored by 2.5 in this game. I'm taking Carolina minus 2.5. Over and under is 44. I'm going to under four. Over 44, excuse me. Detroit and Jacksonville. This is a gimme for Detroit. Jacksonville is going to tank. So I'm going to take... And probably Matthew Stafford is going to put up some numbers. So I'm going to take Detroit over Jacksonville on this one. In Jacksonville. On the line, no, Jacksonville... I mean, uh, Jacksonville favored by three in this game. Jacksonville has a shot. I'm not saying Detroit's good. So I'm going to say Jacksonville plus three because they can easily win this game. Over and under is 40, uh, 54. I'm going over 54. The Miami Dolphins and the New York Jets. Another Eastern Division rival. This is going to be a good one to watch. So I think I'm going to take Miami this game because I think they're going to... Uh, I think Ryan Fitzmagic is going to be back on that one. So I'm going to... Because he has a tough... He, he always beats the, the AFC East no, no matter who it is. So he was uh, my Patriots, the Bills, or the Jets. He always plays well. So I'm going to take the Miami Dolphins over the New York Jets because you never know when Ryan Fitzmagic can happen. On the line, though, the Jets are favored by, I mean, the Patriots, I mean, the, 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 the Miami's favored by eight in this game. That's way too many points. I think the, I think the Jets can keep up close, but there's going to be no cigar. So I'm going to take the um, Jet, the Jets plus eight. Over and under, it's 47. I'm going to go over 47. Oh, the, the game of the week, I call it. The Green Bay Packers and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in Tampa Bay. This is going to be a fun one to watch. Aaron Rodgers versus Tom Brady. This is going to be a great, great, great game. I think this is the third time they're facing off each other, so this is going to be really good. I know, um, I think Tom Brady won the first game. I uh, know, Tom Brady won the second game. And Aaron Rodgers won the first game. It was during their Super Bowl run for the Patriots. I think it was 2016 or 2014, I think, that they faced off for the first time and, and Green Bay got him. So uh, that was at Lambeau. Now it's in Tampa Bay in his court. So I think it's going to be a fun one. I think it's going to be a tough one to win. I think Green Bay's going to pull it out, despite the fact that Tampa Bay doesn't really have the best defense in the world. So, And Green Bay has a better defense, and it's going to come down for that. So I'm going to take, and it's going to be a, a high-scoring game, I think. So I'll tell you that from the over and under in a bit. Um, I'm going to take Green Bay over Tampa Bay for that. On the line, though, no, because Green Bay's, um, Green Bay's favored by one in this game. I'm going to say Green Bay minus one. And the over and under is 54. That's the reason why I think it's going to be over. So I'm going to take over 54 on that one. I think it's going to be a high-scoring game. Sunday Night Football, the Rams and the 49ers. You know, Jimmy Garoppolo, he, I don't know what's going to be happening with him right now, so we don't know. So they, I've been hearing stuff he may be leaving or not. I don't know. But anyways, that being said, I think Jared Goff's going to have a field day. Despite the fact his division rival, they know each other pretty well. So I'm going to take the LA Rams over the San Francisco 49ers in San Francisco. On the line, though, the Rams have favored by three and a half in this game. I'm going to take the Rams minus three and a half. Even though they have a um, salary cap situation right now, this, they're playing pretty well. Kind of like what they're doing. So so that's why I'm picking the Rams, and I'm picking the Rams minus three and a half. And the under 50 is going to be a close game. So I think that's going to pull it out. One of the Monday Night Football games, a double one. The Chiefs over the Buff, the Chiefs and the Bills in Kansas City. Josh Allen hasn't played Patrick Mahomes yet. He doesn't know what he's in for. And after what he did, his performance against Tennessee, I can't see anything what he's going to do against Kansas City on this one. So this is going to be a very, very tough one, I think. After Josh Allen's performance and the Bills' performance, I don't know how they're going to be. You know, if they can't beat Tennessee, I don't know how they're going to beat Kansas City. So I, I don't know how to see that. So I'm going to take the Chiefs, Patrick Holmes and the Chiefs, over the Buffalo Bills in Kansas City. On the line up, Buffalo is favored by, I mean, um, Kansas City's favored by three in this game. I think it's going to be a close game. I think it's going to be a tight one. It's going to be a shootout. I'm going to take Bu uh, Buffalo plus three because uh, Kansas City might win this. But over and under is 55. I'm going to go over 55. Kansas City has a chip in their shoulder. Usually Patrick Mahomes has a chip in their shoulder for loss. He usually bounces back. So that's what I feel about that one. In the other Monday Night Football game, Arizona and Dallas. Now, if you're at Dallas right now, you're probably dialing 911 after Dak. Now, I know he has that contract situation and all that, but you had to appreciate he had. He was doing well after all these years. And I think Dak, you know, he wants that extension in Dallas. He wants to stay. I don't know, understand why Jerry Jones doesn't want him. Why the fans don't want him. This is really understanding. I mean, I would love to have Dak on my team. He's a really good player. 
It's, I just pray for Dak on his injury right now. So, as of right now, if I'm Dallas, or just oh, forget about the postseason. Just wait till Dak gets healthy. So, that's why I'm picking Arizona. And I think Cal Murray's going to be running all over the field on Dallas. And they, uh, I think we're going to miss. I, now, and I think Jerry Jones like, oh, I miss Dak. I miss Dak. So, so that's what Jerry Jones is probably thinking if he doesn't have Dak on the field. So, it's like, yeah. So, that's why I'm picking Arizona over Dallas. On the other Monday Night Football game. On the line, though, Arizona's favored by 2.5 on this game. I'm taking Arizona minus 2.5. Over and under is 54. I'm going under 54. That will wrap up my picks of the week. Shout outs this week. It's my good old, good old funny, good old friend, um, my good old friend, um, that Half Moon's picks. I don't think I gave him a shout out for him yet. So, anyways, check out Half Moon's picks. If I did, I'm sorry. I'll. And also check out Names Noodle. I didn't even I didn't think about him too, so I just remember him just now. <laughs> so sorry about Names Noodle. Just sorry about that. So I'll give you a shout out for you too. Just shout out to both of these guys this week. You get to see those my good old my, my two guys, um, the Half Moons picks and Names Noodle in the NFL YouTube prognosticator page down below in the description box right here. And you can check out the rest of the NFL YouTube prognosticator page in the description down below on our over there too but until then this is andrew warren signing off saying rock out stay safe and you know what like, like i mentioned i don't know what i did with my mask it's in my car just give me a sec uh, oh well you know what i think i must have left into my my, my glove box oh yep yeah, here it is and There we go. This is what you need is a mask, not a bandana. But you know what? As I tell you guys, this is Andrew Warren signing off. Stay healthy, stay safe, and wear a mask and rock out.